Knowing that this year was the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing, we wanted to celebrate that anniversary by bringing the creative perspective. We wanted to acknowledge how artists had responded to this incredible event in 1969 of the first humans walking on the moon. So we started by gathering together Robert Rauschenberg's Stoned Moon series of lithographs that he made in 1969 and 1970 in response to Apollo 11. I wanted to make an image of the moon, so I was trying to make something realistic, but also something more illusionary. And I was really interested in the schism between what is real and what is a document of the thing that is real. The work that I make that revolves around astronauts is never interested in the technological part, but rather interested in how these events affect how we relate to one another. We're very honored and excited to feature Lori Anderson's virtual reality work, To the Moon, which she made in collaboration with the Taiwanese media artist, Sen Chen Huang. And it's a truly imaginative exploration of outer space. This season, our Dimensions Variable program was called Moonlight at the Moody, and we activated the entire building with talks, performances, film screenings, and we're particularly proud of a collaboration with one of our classes at the Shepherd School, during which we screened George Millier's silent film, To the Moon. More than 50 years before the moon landing, it foreshadowed humans going to the moon, and it's interesting to see what people in 1900 would think would happen. Being a part of this concert was my first interaction with the Moody ever. It was just an experience where we were all smiling and having fun together while performing on our instruments. And I'm really glad that we got to do it. It introduced me to the Moody in a really cool way. I don't think there's anything more wonderful, exciting, and important any student should be doing at school than creating something of their own. I think everybody is welcome to bring new things to life here. The students both bring the new ideas and also benefit from those that are brought from artists or from performances. So it's really a two-way street in which it's a laboratory, if you will, of new ideas and innovation. For our Artists in Dialogue series this term, we invited the astronaut Leroy Chow to be in dialogue with the artist Matthew Day Jackson, and it was moderated by the artist Matthew Ritchie. And the goal of it was to bring together the interests of art and science. I think that in speaking to an astronaut, it's just the recognition that you're speaking to someone who's been afforded a very unique perspective on Earth. I was an eight-year-old kid when we landed Apollo 11 on the moon, and it was such an incredible thing. Everybody just kind of, for, for a moment, was just unified at that moment, and it allowed people to think about possibilities and try a little harder and reach a little higher in all fields, you know, not just the sciences, but the arts as well. At the Moody, we start with big ideas. And this season we started with the idea of the moon landing and how that's impacted our relationship to the universe. So it starts with the big theme and then we hope that it will inspire more ideas and more creativity.